want a statement or questions, Randy? Whatever you prefer. It's your show, buddy. Defense did it a different way than you guys did down there with the turnovers. What was effective defensively, especially in that first half? Well, I, th I think at all times for us, it's always going to start with ball pressure. Um, they did a great job spacing us out a little bit more and putting us on our heels. Uh, we had to guard in space a little bit more, so we weren't able to generate the turnovers that we normally do. Um, and then, you know, when they space you more, it also gives them a clean run on the glass. So we had to be very intentional on the board. So. I think more than anything, our guys' communication and connectedness defensively showed up for us. Um, there's certainly the games that we're able to generate a lot of turnovers and score off our defense. That wasn't the case here today. Um, I give a lot of credit to, to TCU and Coach Dixon, um, uh, the respect I, I have for him as a coach uh, and the respect I have for the program. We knew that they were going to come in here very well prepared, uh, very uh, ready to execute, and then with a lot of physical toughness, and so we're just fortunate to, to make enough plays to come out with a win. We talked a lot yesterday about you guys not always slamming the door shut when you have a lead. You were able to do that today. What was the execution like down the stretch for you guys? Is that what it felt like to you? I mean, they got it to eight. That's a lot different than four. <laughs> yeah, I, I just say, um, you know, our guys – Focusing defensively on putting stops together. There's some some big time energy plays. I thought when Taman came back into the play, his uh, into the game, a drive he had was very impactful. Led to a timeout. Rob Jones made some great plays from the pocket. Found shooters, um, and I think you just got to find ways to keep, you know, just focus on getting the stops and and then continue to score the basketball. And um, you know, we're able to do just enough of that to keep keep that separation and not have the game be more in jeopardy. Yeah, kind of on the same note with Taman, he probably wasn't on the floor as much as you would like today. What does that do for your offense when he's off for long stretches of time? And what did you see from a response from the rest of the backcourt? Well, he, he does such a great job of commanding the game, leading our team, uh, bringing character and integrity to everything that we do. He looks for his teammates. He trusts his teammates. Um, he makes plays in the paint. He shoots the ball with a lot of confidence. So not having him out there is, is certainly a challenge. Uh, you know, our guys, did they step up? Absolutely. I thought Keyshawn played terrific commanding the game. I thought Kurt Jones had a spectacular game. When Jackson Pavletsky came in, his minutes were huge to us being successful. Um, and so I think fortunately we've got a group of guys that, that care about each other, that pull for one another. And, you know, when Taman had the foul situation, um, and we, we kept them you know, out for a period of time. Fortunate those guys stepped up. TJ, Kurt and, and Trey were just in here, and, and they both mentioned how, how physical practices can get or have gotten. Do you, are there point, times when you've had to back them off a little bit? We, we look at it as you know, what we do in practice will prepare us to be at our best in the game. And, and there's times that we certainly need to be mindful of rest and their bodies and those sort of things. So we factor all that in the equation. Um, but we are going to be prepared in this league for the physical style of play. Uh, we don't want to come into a game. We knew today the respect we have for them and their program that that was going to be the type of game that it was going to have to be. It was going to be a very workmanlike, physical, tough game. And so my responsibility to our program is to make sure our guys are prepared for those opportunities and also find the right amount of rest. And that's something we're going to continue to do. Okay. Let me ask it a different way. Are there, are there, have there been times during practice that has gotten so physical that you've stopped, stopped practice and said, okay, you guys go sit out for a while because of the physicality, somebody might get hurt? No. Similar line of question, I guess. You obviously have talked a ton about the need to be physical and play hard, and all those things are important values in your program. You can scout those things when looking for players out of high school or the transfer portal, but when you get them here into your program, how do you continue to foster those styles of play and physicality and continue to develop those things in practice and film sessions and all those different areas? I think it's important that guys in our program know that we really mean it when we say how you do anything is how you do everything and that everything matters. And so if, if being on time for everything matters, if going to every class matters, if every block out matters, uh, if every time you have a chance to have great body language, you make that choice matters, um, then you realize that every possession giving everything that you have matters. And 
Um, what we try to do is, is be as honest as we can in the recruiting process of how demanding it's going to be in everything that we do. We don't, we're not just demanding when the games show up. We're demanding in everything that they do from how they treat people, how they carry themselves, and who they are as men. So uh, I think when they see our intentionality and that, you know, that we're going to uphold that standard and everything that we do, that they know we live it. And I feel like when it gets to the court, they understand that, you know, that's, that's the time when you have, you know, when it's on display. To follow up, you guys talk about playing so physical all the time, right? But you do a pretty good job of not fouling. You only had 16 today. How do you balance the line of playing physically on the interior and on the glass, but not sending teams to the free throw line for easy opportunities for points? It's important that we stay ahead of plays defensively, that we're the aggressor, we initiate, uh, that we beat people to spots, that we have, um, that we show our hands on drives so that we're not tempted to foul or reach. Uh, it's important that as drives get to the rim that our, our front line guys have their hands on jump walls behind their heads so uh, they're not tempted to, to foul. Uh, and then it's important that we keep our the floor tight and, and shrink it as much as we can from a defensive standpoint so there's not big gaps to drive it and, and places to pass the ball. So uh, I credit our guys because it takes a lot of mental focus. It takes the fortitude physically to do it. And it also takes the mental focus to be able to even as a game gets going up and down, to make sure that you're doing that job and you're doing it with a discipline and accountability that you know you're not you're not breaking on defense or you're not you're not giving openings. PJ, what would you say about the efficiency in terms of distributing the basketball? You guys had 20 assists on 24 baskets in a game where not as many turnovers leading to transition. You guys are doing that. You mentioned Big Rob doing it a number of times. What does that say about just your ability on the offensive end to manufacture points and Keep things going in a good way. Yeah, it was really important, especially we didn't get as many points off our defense as we would like. We didn't turn them over. They did a great job. So we weren't able to get as many runouts or three on twos, fast break situations. So sharing the ball is going to be important. They did a great job protecting the paint defensively, which made it really hard and made our offense stagnant at times. Um, but I do think our guys, there's no ego there in terms of where the shots come from, where the points come from, who scores it. We know against a great team like TCU, that's as physical as they are, that value in the ball and, and toughness with the ball matters. So the fact that as a team we had two to one assisted turnovers, terrific. But you know, I, I think in the end, we're fortunate our guys care about each other. They look for one another. Uh, there's nobody out there like trying to do their own thing. Everybody's trying to make the right play for each other. And that gives us great balance and, and makes us tough to prepare for. Just real quick, I don't think we're going to get to talk to you before Cincinnati. What can you say about a program that's always, you know, built on toughness and physicality, just like the Big 12, even though they're new to it? Yeah, we, we have tremendous, uh, you know, respect for their program. Um, they've had some very impactful wins. Um, they've shown defensively to um, to be a team again that they've got a lot of size and length up front and a, a very physical guard court. They have an experienced team, um, and they're they're a group that. We know it's going to be another fight come Tuesday. So uh, tremendous respect for, for Coach Miller and what they've already accomplished this season. And we know we're going to need to be at our very best on Tuesday. And, and that's how we'll prepare to be. <clears throat> TJ, the way you described practice doesn't make it sound like it's, it's completely fun to an outsider like myself. But your players seem to have great fun playing the game. How, uh, how is that bridge crossed? Well, I think. You know, again, if, if you value work ethic, if you value accountability, if you value, um, you know, development, and you want to play at your very best, then it's necessary that you play with all the energy and effort and physical force that you can, and that you still have the mental discipline to do what needs to be done. And so, um, you know, the fun to me for our guys, we certainly take the time, you know, we eat meals together, we spend time uh, together off the court. So if fun means laughing and smiling, we take advantage of those opportunities when they present themselves. When we're at practice, we need to be very efficient. We need to do the job that we need to do in the time that we have so that we have the right balance between preparation and not overdoing it. And, and that's something we aim to do every day. Hey, Coach, Kurt said that when he was at Buffalo and shots weren't falling, he didn't really have to worry about playing defense to stay on the floor. And he, he said that changed when he got here early this season when shots weren't falling. How much have you just seen his confidence grow and then also just his buy-in in all aspects of the game? 
Yeah, Kurt, Kurt's a tremendous player. He's only going to continue to get better. I think we've seen that over the last few weeks. Um, and again, same thing I'd say. Like if you're if you want to develop and be the best player you can be, um, you you should want to be challenged. You should want to have all those things be demanded because Kurt's capable of a lot. We've seen. You know, games where he's had seven steals. We've seen games he's had big rebound numbers. He values the ball at a high level. He has three assists with no turnovers today. So it's my job to continue to remind him all the greatness that he has in all these different aspects and be demanding and make sure that it shows up for him every single day. Then it becomes the habit, and then you don't have to think about it. Thank you. Thanks.